On a spring night 21 years ago, James Byrd Jr. was looking for a ride back to his Jasper, Texas home. The men who offered it to him viciously murdered Byrd in a crime that shocked the nation. Byrd's sister, Luvon Harris, says those 24 hours threw the family into a state of disbelief. That's a moment where you have to repeat yourself and say, is this really happening? Because we just left him that day before uh, at my least this bridal shower. And as a family, we're a normal family. And then all of a sudden, uh, uh, the only problem he had that day was, am I going to be the only male in this bridal shower? And we laughed about it. I said, oh, of course he was. But that's how life does. On June 7th, 1998, three white supremacists severely beat Bird, even defecated on him before they chained his ankles to the back of a truck and dragged him for three miles. A pathologist testified Bird was alive for much of it, dying about halfway through after being decapitated and having his right arm ripped off. It was a case that became known for its brutality, a black man dragged to death. Chained to the back. He did with pain, he was shocked, and he was numb, and he became very angry. Who gave them the right? to say my brother's not worth living because he was born black, something he had no, no control over, and say, okay, you don't deserve to live because of that. At the time, Sheriff Billy Rolls saw the horrific crime scene. Well, it made me sick in my stomach. As the remains of a human being that uh, had been dismembered, and uh, it was very sickening. Sheriff Rolls says a witness saw a dark-colored pickup truck with loud mufflers barreling down the street. He spotted three white men inside and Bird in the back. They dumped his body in front of an African-American cemetery. Word started to get around town, and Rolls said that witnesses led them straight to Sean Allen Berry, Lawrence Russell Brewer, and John William King. They were all tried and convicted of Bird's brutal murder. Testimony showed Bird was offered a ride, then bound by his ankles with a heavy logging chain attached to a bumper. Back then, Bird's son Ross spoke up against the death penalty, expressing that the punishment for his father's murder shouldn't be more murder. Yet, Brewer was sentenced to the death penalty. Alleged white supremacist Lawrence Russell Brewer has been executed for his role in the murder of James Bird Jr., dying by lethal injection. LeVon went to his execution in 2011 and said Brewer showed no remorse. I've never been to execution before. I never thought I'd be in this situation before. Of course, I never thought I'd be a victim, a victim family of a hate crime either. Um, and so it was pretty eerie because to watch someone die, but it was also eye opener just to say, you know, how far hate would go. Uh, would it take it to the grave or would you find remorse and say my last breath on earth would be something positive? Barry received a life sentence. After appeals, King was also sentenced to death by lethal injection. It is scheduled for April 24th, 2019. I'm going to be there. I'm not going to watch it. I've seen too many people die in my life. But I am going to be sitting outside on the grounds when it happens. Luvon will be there too. It still won't bring peace. It won't bring James back. But it's justice was served. Because uh, if in history you find out that very seldom uh, you have to uh, white men go to death for killing one black man. And so you have history there. Bird's family marked the 20th anniversary of his death last year, realizing that their loss, along with another brutal killing of Matthew Shepard in Wyoming, simply because he was gay, helped change the course of history. Everybody now knows what a hate crime is. Back when this happened, it was a racially motivated murder, a civil rights violation. Uh, the man was murdered because of his race. Uh, but the word, the phrase hate crime came out of this. Uh, and then not long after this, within a few weeks of this, this murder, you had the Matthew Shepard case up in Laramie, Wyoming. Sheriff Roll says the incident tarnished the image of the small Texas town, a wound that is still trying to heal. Still, Bird's family found a ray of light, starting the Bird Foundation for Racial Healing. Its goal? To encourage racial unity through education and reduce the number of racially motivated crimes. But for the case that has haunted Sheriff Rolls, the town, and nation for two decades, closure can't come fast enough. I'll be glad that it's over. That'll be the final act of, of this case. It'll be over with. When John William King is laid to rest, it's over. But James Bird's memory and legacy 
will live on. When James was a fun, loving person, he loved people, he loved music, and he also teased the family that, uh, you know, I can see, you know, I'm gonna put Jasper on the map. I'm gonna put Jasper on the map and everything. And uh, and I keep hearing those words in his mind, he put Jasper on the map. He thought through his music and through his playing, never did he thought he's a wild dream would be because of his death. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Stephanie Officer.